Hello everyone, and welcome to the third and final part of the Equipment Crafting series, Enchantment Transfer Crafting. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to check out the first two parts, links in the description below. As always, if this guide has helped you out, leave a like and subscribe. To unlock Enchantment Transfer Crafting, you need to finish the achievement, Fabric of Legends, where you'll need to use Rarity Upgrade Crafting to make 30 legendary items. You can check on this with default hotkey Q. Enchantment Transfer comes in two different varieties, Single Enchantment Transfer and All Enchantment Transfer. There is no slot restriction for this type of crafting, so you're allowed to exchange the enchantments from any item to any other item. Let's start with the Single Enchantment Transfer crafting. When two items are placed onto the workbench, you can hover over each item to see the possible enchantments. Bug alert here, you may notice that some enchantments that originally appear blue when you looked at it in your inventory turn into gold or platinum lines when viewed on the workbench. Uh, no, that's not the Midas touch, that's a visual bug. Those are genuine gold or platinum lines. The order in which the enchantments appear on the tooltip corresponds to its number in the drop-down menu below it. From the drop-down menu, you can then select which enchantment you want to swap with the other item. The preview window on the right side only shows one item, but actually you will receive back both of your items when the crafting is complete. Pay a small quantity of Glyphs of Power and voila, the enchantments are swapped. Moving on to the All Enchantment Transfer feature, the description of how this works on the workbench is poorly written, as it suggests that only items with the same number of enchantments can be swapped using this method. This is generally true when considering only improved magic and extraordinary items. However, it's not true when considering legendary, unique, and set items. Important, some unique and set items only come with three lines of enchantments by default, but you can still swap its enchantments with a legendary item to create a unique or set item with four lines of enchantment. As a result, you will also create a legendary with only three lines of enchantment as a now useless byproduct. As such, there are two strategies to utilize this enchantment transfer crafting. If you are so fortunate as to obtain a legendary, unique, or set item with four lines of enchantments by default that you want to use because it has good base values, you can just use single enchantment transfer four times and plaster all the good stats onto that item immediately. Now, in a much more likely scenario, you will find good enchantments faster than you can find the perfect gear item that you want. And even when you find the perfect piece of equipment that you want, it may end up being a unique or set item with three lines of enchantment by default. Take a garbage legendary, preferably of a lower level to save some glyphs of power, and use it to collect four lines of enchantment onto it. Then use the All Enchantment Transfer option to move these lines you've been diligently collected onto that perfect item. And the last scenario for using this Equipment Transfer Crafting is when you've found new equipment with better base values. Rather than start from scratch, you can transfer your existing enchantments, assuming they're decent, onto your new equipment. As for what exact enchantments you will place on an item, you need to look at the base values of the item. You should always aim to have four matching lines of enchantment on a single piece of equipment. Those enchantments should be modifying a matching base value and the matching gems slotted in for the best character growth. Bonus fact here, look at unique values too. If the unique value on an item also happens to match the enchantment type on an item, you'll get increased values applied to that too. If you have further questions or tips not mentioned in this video about this topic, leave it in the comments below, or feel free to pop into my live stream. It's every Wednesday and Sunday at 10am Mountain Standard Time.